Well, this painting is a little bit off the schedule. I already have a painting scheduled to come out this week. But I have had a lot going on. As most of you know, I have a surgery coming up. And I've had a lot going on with uh, my mother-in-law passing away. And um, I know that art heals. With everything going on in the world, I know there's other people out there that have a lot going on in their life too. So I wanted to share this. I share the thought process behind it, a little concept behind it, that maybe it'll be helpful to you to create but it was just something I needed to do and I turned the camera on to share it with you and I'm glad I did because I, I love the painting and um, I'm going to share this with you and hopefully it will heal a piece of your soul like it has for me. Okay, I wanted to visit um, an old painting that I had done. In fact, this one I really love. Um, I had this hanging in my bedroom for a while. And I did this color palette on Canva. I have the pro version, which is nice. But it didn't include all of the colors. So I took this over to another program and added uh, additional colors and let me show you that so I've added a row at the bottom I've added like a raspberry uh, a light pink a blue that probably could be a little more turquoisey and then I added a black so I thought it might be fun to create another abstract using this color palette or some of the colors that are in this because I really enjoyed this painting so let's just see what we can do so I have a piece of um, palette paper out here and I'm going to use all the golden high flows and I'm just going to mix some colors and I'm going to start with uh, magenta I, I like the painting I don't want to copy it exactly. I want to have, you know, a little more fun here. But let's get some of this magenta out. The bottle I have is pretty old. It's an old bottle of magenta. Um, well used. I guess a better seasoned bottle of, of magenta. So let's get some of that going. I'm having to dip my brush down in it. Let me clean my brush off because I really got the brush covered. I had to dip the brush down in there instead of pouring it out. So let's get... So there's a lot of the magenta and then there's some of the, the white. So let's move some of this magenta over here. And let's make a, a really pretty pink. And the reason why I like to mix my paints, as opposed to maybe just, I have a thing of pink, is I like the fact that they will harmonize better. Let's do, um, let's do a, this is the green gold. Now, I've never really liked the green gold of golden by itself. It's, to me, it's, I don't know, Christmas color green? Just, it's too, it's too Christmas color green. I just don't feel that you find, um, a lot of colors out there maybe holly maybe but I think even adding a little bit of white I love that color now let's add for the fun of it let's add 
and we have a different pink here. So these will all harmonize together. Alright, so we have a magenta, we have a light pink, um, maybe even almost out of white here. Got a, got a huge jug of that white. So let's that's a very light color. Alright, then of course we're gonna have um, some black. Where's my black? I get these covered. The um, names covered. And watch. I love when you mix a little bit of the black. These two together makes a beautiful green. Well, I put too much black in it, but that's a, that's, it's not quite black, but I love that. Let's put a little more white with that. And it's because it's got that green in it. These, uh, colors from Golden. I don't do the, I don't do them very good. This, there we go. That's a beautiful green. Okay, so let's do um, some of that turquoise. Now the painting had that turquoise. But it had it um, a lot lighter. So let's add some white to that. You're really running out of that white. Yeah, that's about the color that's in the painting. I'm going to need some more of that white. So even if we were to take some of that green and mix that in, we've got a different color here. I need to bring some of that back. I keep trying to squirt it out of the bottle, but I know it's not going to come out. So let's bring some of that back. paper over here and let's just do a small painting based on using this real pretty color palette. And I want to Make sure my paper is in okay it's in frame so let's start with and I might have to make some more colors out here I'm going to, this is a color, this is a mixed media piece of paper. So it's not a cotton watercolor. So it's, it's not going to be as, um, it's not going to soak into the paper like a watercolor might. Okay, let's do that. Let's add in... I have a lot of that going on here. So that's kind of like a focal point. I 
I'm putting my fingers right in. So I'm going to use a smaller brush and bring in some of that green. And that's wet on wet. take kind of like a moppy brush and make a larger spot there. I felt that needed more. All right. Now let's do instead of the black. I had black in the other painting. I want to stop and do a little slight uh, discussion about the art membership real briefly. November will be the second training all about value. Last month Will be was value using grayscale November is using color there is a training video and then there's two demo videos coming out so you don't want to miss that if you struggle because you can see right here right away when I put that uh, darker green on this painting it brought all the values it brought the painting together even in this middle stage because the painting, all the colors were mid-tone, and about 80% of the artists out there I have found keep a painting in the mid-tone. So by adding and learning value and learning value in color, you will be able to bring your painting so much further. Just wanted to mention that. If you're interested, check the join button and um, come on. It's really $9.99 a month for you. And you get a lot of training, handouts, demos. You get a lot for the amount of money that you will pay. Just wanted to throw that in there. Now, the reason why, to me, that looks good is because of the, the fact they're all harmonizing together. Do get a little bit bigger brush. I'm using these dagger brushes. This is nice. Now this is some of that turquoisey blue. Let's see. I don't want to do a lot because I I like this color that's going on here. And so this is just a touch. It's, it's not really adding to me that much. Let's see. I need to do something here. So let's swing this around. I need to do some drips. I'm looking, to, I'm looking for some different um, marks in here. how that dripped a little bit there. All right, I like that. All right, so let's, I really want to let this dry before I add more. This 
pulled on pool pulled pulled puddled so let's okay all right let's let this dry and then let's do some markings on here Some of my words that I always I scribble I like. Another thing that might look good, let's see. I have my gold, a lot of my gold packed because I'm going away for a couple days for a little vacation after my mother-in-law passed away and I found out I had to have eye surgery on my retina. It's actually the first, second time. This is a more um, important I have a hole in my eye. Um, I'm going to add some, some gold. Not a lot. And you notice I'm adding the gold on an area that is darker to kind of give it a uh, pizzazz. And then I'm going to add in another marking that is very prominent to my marks and I might do a second painting um, let me move this palette the paper I don't want to waste that paint but I'm really loving this painting um, but I want to add I'm going to get a rigger brush here's one a rigger brush you've heard me talk about that before is a very very thin I mean thin but very long so I'm going to do again some of my writing and then I'm going to use this dagger and I'm just going to make some random white marks and I like that. Simple. 
it's going to dry a little darker, which is what I want. Because I don't know if you can see. You know, in fact, I think I'd like to bring in some more of that darker in some different areas. I'll make that not as there. It's still got the value, the darker value, but it's not in your face. I have some more. Maybe a couple more. Little spots around. A birthday. A lot, lot went on in the last couple of weeks. And I didn't buy myself a present yet. I think I get, need to get myself some more of this quinacridone gold. Um, this. <laughs> it's, it's thick. Needs replaced. Anyway, I love that. I'm going to let it dry. And then I'm going to take a picture of it and let you see it because the, the lighting, let me see if I can turn the light off, is making it brighter but I wanted you to see me paint there it is that's a little truer to what the painting looks like so I hope you enjoyed this this is when it dried it dries dries a little darker and I cropped it flattened it out for you and this is it's got a lot of my markings in it so this was again a bonus video for the week and I um, I hope you enjoyed it YouTube kind of stopped pushing my videos out there so my numbers are down but I think a lot of it is just so you know come November 1st they've announced that they are themselves changing how um, ad revenue is and that's how I get paid I don't get paid a lot from YouTube. I don't have any sponsors right now. And I have a lot of people who want me to be an affiliate with them. And uh, at some point, I'll share those of the affiliates that I think are uh, would be good, the ones I like. But right now, I don't have sponsors. Um, so just to give you a heads up, I don't know what November is going to do. I have no control over it. But anyway, back to the painting. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, it was, um, cathartic for me. It was relaxing and it's an easy, uh, painting and all, uh, high flows from golden. And I'm going to do a little montage of some rooms that, uh, I popped this in and that will be a, um, not a sponsor, but an affiliate link I can share with you in the future um, of a program that I use. So thank you for joining me and please give me a thumbs up, I guess mainly to encourage me right now um, because um, I am a little nervous about um, the surgery. I'm not scared, um, apprehensive maybe. Um, I'm not, maybe not nervous. No surgery is fun, especially when you go completely under. And I could use the thumbs up. And I'm a big girl. I can handle this. The recovery, I think, is where I'm apprehensive. I have to be face down for seven days, not lift my head, um, except for to go to the restroom and, and grab something to eat. But face down to allow the... Um, the retina to heal properly so that I can regain my sight. Anyway, thumbs up to tell me, hoorah, you can do this, Cheryl. Mm -hmm.